Hey guys, it's Kira and Jenna, and today we're going to talk about smartphone photography. Yes, um, we all do it. Yes, uh, just and because it's easy. It's super handy. Yeah. yeah, I mean, to always have a camera in your pocket. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it may not be good, but we are doing <laughs> it. I mean, good photography yeah. wise. Like, I know my pictures aren't good on yeah. the phone. The number of bad photos on my phone is in. Most of them are of my cat. Yep, and my dog. <laughs> <laughs> and they're yep. the only ones that I will sit still for it. Um, so today we're going to talk about how to do better photos. Yes. On our phone. Yeah, and some of it's really simple, and you you might already know some of it. But for those of you that don't, we're going to share. Good. Okay. So I'll I'll do the first one. Go ahead. Because um, I do this all the time. So if you don't know a way to take pictures on your phone is to hold the uh, volume button as a, sh like, not hold, but like, use, use it, use yeah. the volume button as a shutter button. Yeah, so especially if your camera is uh, horizontal, it makes it much more like a camera. This way? Yeah. And then you use the volume button? Yeah, and you can use either one, too, so. And I do this all the time, take screenshots by using yes. both. Yes, the but screenshot is the screen. shutter button is the volume button. Yeah. Um, okay. The other thing to think about is the orientation of your phone. So, like, you know, we hold our phones up and down, so sometimes it feels like, oh, I'll just take the picture that way. But, like, if you're taking a picture of, like, six people, holding yes. your phone this way doesn't make sense. Yes. Hold Turn it, it. horizontal. Yeah. So think about that when you're taking your pictures. You know, does it make more sense or would it look better if I just turn my phone? Because how easy is it to just turn your phone? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. That one's super simple. Yes. Um, so flash obviously is a huge thing. Yes. I never use my flash on the phone. Do you use? I do sometimes if I'm trying to get rid of a shadow. And to be honest, most of the time I'm like taking a picture of a recipe or like a, <laughs> a piece of mail that I need to like show somebody. And I'm like, oh, you can totally see my arm. What if I use flash? <laughs> yeah, I never use a flash. Yeah, but that's rare. just because I hate flash normally. Yes. So I'm just a flash yeah. averted. Like, yeah. I hate it. But like, you know, a camera phone is not like great in low light situations. Yeah. So if you're in low light, you might consider turning the flash on. Although my husband has a Sam Samsung, his low light stuff is amazing. Yeah. I gotta say, Apple's a little bit behind when it comes to, yeah. you know, some of the camera features. Because my brother also is like a non-Apple person and he's always like you're just now getting that feature I'm like well yes I am and it's yeah. fine <laughs> yeah. he could he has all kinds of he's like I can just take these people out yeah and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> so yeah yes. all right um and then you're going to talk about portrait mode yes so portrait mode lets you make adjustments kind of like you would if you were shooting manual so specifically it will let you adjust your aperture um so when you're in portrait mode, there's a little F with a circle around it in the top right. Um, I'm going to I'm going to see if this is true okay. while you're doing it. <laughs> uh, so this is specifically in portrait mode. You can't be in um, the regular photo mode. Um, oh, yes, in the top right hand corner. Yes, you hit the F, and then a slider will open up underneath your photo preview. Yeah. And if you want a more blurry background, you can slide your finger to the right causing the number Ooh. above the slider to go down. And if you want less blur, slide your finger to the left, causing the number to go up. So this is the same thing that we do on our cameras. I mean, our real big cameras, but you're able to use it in your iPhone to get the same, some of the same features you would in your phone. Now, when you do that, is it giving you, if you try to get a really nice bokeh in the background, is it gonna do super awkward edges around things? Because, I know it does if you try to add it later. Kind of. Okay, yeah. I'm just taking a picture of the laptop. So it's adding it digitally, yeah. digitally, obviously, because it's a phone. So the edges around things, sometimes they're not great. But yeah, they're a little in some situations, it works great. And oh, yeah, are you going to take my picture and yeah. then we'll share it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've got like crazy. Kind of like a halo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so your picture was way worse than the laptop because the laptop was nice and crisp. Yeah, but you had like 
Okay. And I, I do sometimes wonder if maybe if you're outside, maybe it's better, but it is doing it digitally, digitally, so oh, you, you might not get the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. oh yeah, because I have it at 1.4, that's why. Yeah. And you want it low. There, How many bad job. pictures does Kara have of Jenna? I'm always the first model in every situation and... Mi oh, don't hide it! Hide <laughs> it! Oh, gosh! That's awful! Um, we're okay, getting, we'll put that one in the thing. No, we won't. <laughs> so, yeah, be aware of the edges on your photo. Sometimes it looks really bad. Yeah. And then there are some people who just don't care, and I'm like, please care, yeah. please. <laughs> yeah, I don't think people um, care. And then if you have another, that's specific to iPhone. Other brands of phones do this too. It just might set up differently than that. But um, you can just Google it, whatever your phone is, and... Uh, you, you should be able to find it. Um, yeah. Yes, there's, I mean, it has everything. Exposure. Yeah. You can do exposure. Now, what are your feelings on live mode? I think live mode is cool. However, um, okay, there's two things here. iPhones automatically save your photos in a format called HEIC, yeah. and you cannot use those photos in certain places. That that yeah. format is not recognized. So if you go in your settings, you can turn that off and have it saved as JPEG and never run into that issue again. Do it. I don't it's amazing. The other thing with live photos is that they are shot in that HEIC. Yeah. So while they're super cool, you could run into issues. Like say you want to order um, a photo book. If that company hasn't accepted this file type, you, you're not going to be able to use those pictures. I, <clears throat> so, I, use live photo. I think they're fun just because, like if I was with like my nieces and nephews, like I might use live photo just because there's probably a funny moment happening on either end of the photo. But yeah, for the most part I have it turned off because yeah. it's also creepy when like someone sends you a photo and they had it turned on and they don't realize they had it turned on because you can actually hear audio too. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah be careful um if you're people like us that need reels and like and you're just a, a single person like me that's always all by myself um if you didn't know you have a timer in yes. this and so i often use timer um so i set up my phone and then i do a timer and take pictures of myself mm -hmm. because i'm always by myself yeah. um so that's an easy way to take pictures of like yourself yeah doing whatever you need to do yeah because you can run back and <laughs> right I mean that's the life of the photographer whether it's on your phone or the real camera you're yeah. always the run one running into the photo if it's on a timer yes yeah. I so I just I learned the other day that there was a timer on this and I was like uh, <laughs> I didn't know no one told me yeah um, there's something else I was going to tell you but I can't I'm sure you know something else that's cool oh you? gosh I think I've shared all my did you share all the things I think I did. All right. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's maybe it. I mean, okay. portrait has different lighting things. Everybody knows. Yes. That, I guess. Yeah. Lighting modes. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and now the capabilities of editing just within the Apple Photos app are crazy compared to what they used to be. You can like remove a whole person or whatever, and like drop them into a doc uh, a note or yeah. you know an email or something which is kind of fun like I, I don't here's know. just a little weird creepy me I don't know why you would need to do that but I've done it with my dog a few times <laughs> <laughs> that's fun I'll send you a me later yeah be like, a me <laughs> instead me. of a selfie it's now a me because you've just cut yourself out of a different photo that wasn't a selfie <laughs> I saw somebody do it the other day for Instagram they did like a like holding something, oh, like yeah. holding nothing, but and then they put it in Instagram, like holding their social media, whatever. Cute. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so that's that's smartphone stuff. Yeah. Do you have any questions, or if you know something that we didn't share, shoot, yeah, tell us. I'm sure people know all kinds yeah. of stuff. Yep. Yeah. But that's it. So, yeah. all right. Let us know if you knew, know any fun stuff or need anything, and we will see you guys on next week. Yep. Bye. Bye.